What's up YouTube and ho 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 it is nearly Christmas and I'm Domino welcome to our anime review episode 54 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime not Ultra Sun and Moon anime but the Sun and Moon anime now in the last couple episodes we've been building up towards this battle against Lusamine infused with or Nihilego that's captured Lusamine if you do want to check those out, we've done reviews of all of those episodes, you can go back and check them out. Now, I won't lie, I'm going to tell you right from the beginning, this episode was a bit of a letdown from what it has been, but we had, we did see a pretty epic little scene, as you saw by the thumbnail in today's video. Now, uh, it starts off where it always does, where Lily's recapping the last episode, and if you remember, all of the gang going through Nihilego's Ultra Space, um, was fighting different people like um, we had Salazzle against Kiawe we had hold on I have it here we had Sophocles Mallow and Lana Rotom Ashes Litten and Rowlet fighting against Melodic Lilligant and Miss Magius and then of course we had Gladion fighting against Absol um, so it just kind of, kind of recapping that stuff and it shows that Ashes again heading off to fight uh, Lusamine and that's where the episode picks up and the episode is called shine Z powering super powerful I think it's supposed to be 10,000 volt Thunderbolt. I think that's what the move is called I could probably look that up. You know what? I'm gonna look it up right now Call me unprofessional whatever. I don't care. We're looking it up right now um, Hold on hold on hold on We're all the way to the bottom Where is it? He moves Okay, it is 10 million. Never mind. 10 million Bolt Thunderbolt. That's the name of the episode. So you already know what's coming. Um, but it starts where we see Ash trying to fight Lusamine, but Lusamine is running away and puts like this poison in between her and Ash. Um, and then it goes off to show that Absol is still whooping up on Gladion. But Gladion uses his brain and switches Sil Valley to the fire type so he can burn out of the ice that he's in and they start fighting and they start doing a decent job Gladion goes to use Continental Crush on Absol seemingly winning then it goes down to the other losers of Sophocles Mallow, Lana, Rotom and a couple of Ashes Pokemon still struggling against the three that I've already mentioned and then it did this was just it was just so weird in the last episode, Melodic, or no, excuse me, Lilligant had attracted Rowlet. So they were like, we can't attack because Rowlet's there. And so they're like, okay, how about Steeny? Mallow Steeny used Sweet Scent to get Rowlet back. Rowlet comes back and is like, you know, all his infatuated self with Steeny and gets blasted into Lilligant. Steeny launches Rowlet into Lilligant and they call it like, the Rowlet shot or something stupid as a combo move. And then Sophocles goes on to defeat Melodic and uh, Lana uses Hydro Vortex to defeat Miss Magius. And then after some time, all of the defeated Pokemon that we just said were defeated stand up again. It's like, oh, we won't be able to defeat them unless until Ash beats Lusamine. Okay, so then it goes over to Ash. Ash jumps on top of Salgalio who just runs across the poison. Why is Solgaleo not fighting? If you remember in Sun and Moon when we fought against uh, Lusamine fused with uh, Nihilego, how Solgaleo and Lunala didn't fight? They're just standing there? That's exactly what happens in the anime. They're just standing there doing nothing. Um, but anyway, Ash and Pikachu go off to fight Lusamine. But Ash can't get close enough. I don't know why, but he's trying to jump on to Lusamine, maybe to just try and pull her out or something. Keeps getting knocked away. Ash, or Pikachu runs up after every time and showing concern. And yeah, we know they're bonded, Pokemon. They've been bonded for 20 years. You don't have to show us this. Anyway, Lily and Gladion arrive up. And um, like I, I said here, Sogaleo protects Ash from, I think it was like some... Power gem or something from Nihilego. It's like, why doesn't Lycan or excuse me, I knew that was the wrong name. Why doesn't Solgaleo just fight? I don't know. But Ash winds up sending Solgaleo and Lycanroc back to fight Lusamine's Pokemon who have gotten back up. Because the others are struggling. They all suck. They're not Ash. They're not Gladion. They can't handle it. Um Lily is there with the Clefable that she got to remember her in the last episode, who just like bounces across the poison. 
and apparently she has the ability magic bounce so she can't get poisoned but that's not how magic bounce works because poison is super effective she just if she gets poisoned isn't it just like the other person would get poisoned i think that's how magic bounce works anyway um so Valley turns, or excuse me, so Valley turns to the steel type and takes Gladion across the poison, etc., etc. Lily's like, I've got to go tell Lusamine something. I got to get up there, and so Lily gets up right in front of Lusamine and yells at her, "I hate you, mother!" It's like, don't ever tell your mother you hate her. Can we just have like a quick second? Can we just take? Hold on, hold on. Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the music. Don't ever tell your mother that you hate her, ever, ever. You can tell her, hey, can we talk about something? She's your mother. Don't ever tell her you hate her. So Lily yells that she hates Lusamine and Lily's just going in. You're a bigger baby than I, than I ever was. You're not my real mother. Like, oh my God, Lily, calm down. It's gonna be okay. <clears throat> um. So Lusamine comes to her senses and is like trying to reach out of Nihilego, but Nihilego just swallows her up and like becomes this even bigger blob that's just like fighting them. Like, and the, the art in this whole episode was just not what it could have been. It's not what it should have been. Maybe that's my fault for watching Dragon Ball Super last night and then watching the Pokemon anime this morning. Like maybe that was the problem, but anyway. Not that Dragon Ball Super is anything to write home about, but um, where am I? So Ash suggests, hey, Gladion, let's both use our Z moves. This should be able to take out Nihilego. But Gladion's like, well, I've already used mine and I lost still. Um, so Gladion says, now nah, we'll distract Lusamine and it's up to you. So they do their distracting, which just means using air slash once. And then Gladion and Lily both yell at Ash, now's your time, now's your time. And Ash goes to do it and says, all right, Pikachu, let's hit with our full power. And his Z power ring starts glowing and his hat flies off. Well, Pikachu jumps off of his shoulder and grabs onto his hat and lands on the ground. And it turns out that the Z crystal has changed into the Pikachunium Z. How convenient. Um, but like it glowed and then turned into the Pikachunium Z. Ash is holding and... Ash says, all right, and hits the Z move, and it's the new Z move. Pikachu puts the hat on, and Ash is like, let's hit him with or 10,000. No, let's hit him with a million. No, Pikachu, let's hit him with the sh our super full power, is what he said. Super full power. We are Digimon out here. Super mega hyper full metal coated, like, what are we doing? Our super full power, 10 million volts. Now, it was a pretty amazing animation if i'm not lying and pikachu is screaming at the top of her lung his lung excuse me and boom huge explosion afterwards the pikachunium z transforms back into the electrium z so we'll probably see some type of growth sometime about how they can get back to using that pikachunium z but if they use that no pokemon should ever be able to stand up from that because Pikachu realistically should be the strongest Pokemon. That's not necessarily true. Stop and think about it. There's a lot of trainers that have been training their Pokemon just as long as Ash has been training Pikachu, if not longer, except not level five Snivies that were just picked up the day of. I'm not a fan of black and white. Anyway, where was I? Oh, um, Gladion and Lily save Lusamine and Nihilego flies away. All of Lusamine's Pokemon calm down and Lusamine says that it was Lily's voice that reached her. Lily's crying her face off. And then the whole gang gets reunited together and Ash explains to Rotom about the Z move because Rotom would want that data, etc, etc. And then the whole gang goes back to the altar on Solgaleo. And I got, I got emotional watching it. I don't know why. Maybe it was a mixture of the music and I, I don't know. I don't know. But Beware then takes Team Rocket back home and the episode ends. That's it. That was all there was to it. I don't know. Like I said, not the best episode, not the worst. I mean, the 10 million volt Thunderbolt was pretty sweet. I mean, that was pretty awesome. But all of this lead up to Lusamine 
versus Ash, and or you know this Lucy me Nihi Lego thing, and there was just nothing to it. I don't know. It was a little strange. Now in the next episode, um, we're gonna see everyone seems to be in love with something, some type of something, something. Faba's up to something, and we know that Faba's the bad guy. If you're watching our Ultra Moon playthrough, you'll see this week Faba is the bad guy. Sogaleo leaves for something, and then Kukui and Burnett have another moment. That's about it. So, again, I enjoyed the episode, don't get me wrong, but it just seems like it wasn't a fitting end to what we've been seeing recently. If you checked out the episode, make sure you let me know what your favorite moment was in the comments below. I do think I'm going to adjust these so that I can have them on Saturdays at some point, since I think the episode comes out on Thursday. Waiting for five days to get this up is not going to work, so I think I'm going to move that to Saturdays. If you have an opinion on that, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you for the next Pokemon anime review. Until then, have a blessed day.